Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I am here today to do my update for the past, present, future project pan. This is a project that was created by Kooky Pans, Elizabeth over on Instagram, as well as Paula at a beauty guru made me do it. It's a project that I participated in last year and I was so happy to hear was brought back in 2021. Kind of jumped on the bandwagon. I was like, I'm doing this project. <laughs> I'm so happy. So anyway, let me walk you guys through the products that I selected for this project and how I'm doing. There were a few things that I had to change for a couple of different reasons and I will go into why. But before I do that, let me show you the one empty that I do have. So I did finish a mascara. So the mascara that I finished is this YSL, the curler mascara, and I'll, I guess I'll put it here. And I got through this pretty quickly. I'm finding that the older mascaras that I have are not, I guess they're a little drier. They're just, I'm just going through them a lot quicker. And this one it was pretty much that. It worked well for the time that I was able to use it, and I did like it uh, for that brief three, four weeks that I was able to use it. I literally just put it in my empties bin yesterday. So I was pretty much able to use it for the entire four weeks that, that I had it in the project. So I liked it. I liked the formula quite a bit. I didn't show you guys the wand. The wand is like this, you know, nice, fan shape. I really liked it. It's probably ridiculously expensive, so I would not spend the money on it though. So that is my one empty. Now let's go into the products that were part of the past category. For this category, I selected products that had been in my collection since 2018. So they're old, right? So they're, they're past. That's why they're part of the past category. So the first item is this Urban Decay lipstick in back top. And I will put my progress over here so you guys can see where I am in my book in terms of where I was last month. This is what this lipstick is looking like now. So I did make a tiny bit of progress on this. And because this is a matte formula, it's just anytime I use it, like the usage on this is minuscule. It just takes forever. But this is a beautiful color. It's so pretty. I love it. And I'm just going to continue using it. You know, it's going to, my goal is to finish this up. So it's going to take me quite some time. I think at this point, I am almost to the point where I'm hitting this metal piece. So pretty soon I'll be able to kind of work my way down and it won't be as difficult to finish. I don't think. Yay. Let's talk about the full size mascara that I had put in here. So I had put in this Dior Dior Show mascara and when I opened it up, I don't know, can you guys see this? Mm, it's all dried up. Yeah, so this cannot be used and it's pretty much going into my declutter bin. So I decided to grab another mascara that is in my older category. And so what I decided to do is to grab this Lancome Hypnos Drama mascara. And I have not even opened this up yet. So let's make sure it's good. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's a, that's a, good mascara. Phew. So I'm going to, I have a mascara, a full size mascara that's open now. So I'll wait to actually start using this until I'm done with that one. And this will be next. So I'm going to put this in my vanity area where I hold like project pan items that I'm not using now, but I will need to use at some point area and it'll eventually get used, but I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to start working through my older mascaras because of that situation, because that was bad. Something else that happened, and I don't have it with me because I think I had already decluttered it, but the Ico liquid eyeliner that I had originally pulled for this project was completely dry. Like there was no liquid eyeliner that was coming out of that pen. So 
couldn't use that. So I decided to pull in this Kat Von D tattoo liner. And I've had this for a long time too. I have a lot of these little samples. This is just the Trooper Black color. And it's it's doing well. Actually, I think I'm wearing it today in my uh, upper on my upper lash line. So I really like this stuff. Like this is one of my favorite liquid liners. And they last forever. So it'll probably take me forever to use it. Next up is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Baby Berry. And it is this you know, retractable lip liner. I made a tiny bit of progress. I'm actually wearing it today on my lips and it's a really pr nice shade. It can go with a lot of um, lipsticks that I wear right there. It's really pretty. I think I was watching Jen Reviews Makeup. Is that her channel name? And Jordana is no more. They're closing up shop or they already closed up shop or something. I was like, oh, wow. So I should probably use this up. I mean, obviously it's in the past category. So I've had it in my collection for quite some time. My goal is not to finish this is to use, I think, a third. So it's not going to be out of my collection at the end of this project, but I just need to get some good use out of it. The good thing is it's nice and creamy. So that's good. Next up, we have the Bite Beauty Lush Lip Tint in the shade Juice. And and I made pretty good progress on this. So this is what this shade looks like. I don't even have to put my hand behind things anymore with this new camera. I love it. So yeah, this is what this shade looks like. This is really nice. It's very similar to another product that I am working on in another project, which is the Tarte Quench Lip Rescue, where I don't have to, I can just put this on when I'm running errands, wearing my mask, and I don't have to worry about it like getting all over my face because it's a pretty sheer uh, lip tint, you know? So I like it for that. And the color is nice. So I'm enjoying this product. And I made really good progress on this. Yeah, I think I'm about a third of the way to my goal, which is to use half of it. And I think once I use half of it, this will go into my like little bin where I keep things for go for the goal. So yeah, I'm doing well with this and I really enjoy that product. Next up is the Essence Ultra Last Instant Lip Color in the shade Mobbed In. It's number four. I was actually surprised that I even had any progress in this because I think I maybe have used this once. So somehow I made some sort of progress. So this is what this shade looks like. It's a beautiful mauve gray toned shade. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. So that is what that shade looks like. It's so pretty. So pretty. But yeah, this just didn't get a lot of love. And I mean, I think my goal is to use what a quarter of it. So it just, I didn't really use it. But that's okay. I'll eventually get to it. Just didn't happen yet. And it may get sidelined until fall because we're kind of getting to the spring months and that's okay. This was in the present category, not in the past. Eighth product in the past category is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I am kicking butt on this. Like seriously kicking butt. Look at this. I mean, there is not much left in here. I can't believe it. It's funny because I thought that I would hate this. And there are some foundations that I don't love it with, but I don't hate it. I wore it today to set my makeup and I don't hate it. It's not my favorite powder, but I don't mind it either. So I'm actually going through it quicker than I thought it would. I don't know that I'll have it done by the next update, but, but yeah. I mean, I might. There isn't that much left in there. We'll see. All right, this is the ninth product in this category and there's 10 total. I don't know if I said that. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and this is, I think, the regular berry shade and it's a full size. My goal is to finish this and this is how... Well, cat hair. <laughs> this is how things are looking. So I do use this every night and I am making my way through this. I think I saw someone doing a video on this product and they said it took them over a year to finish. So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes me to finish this. I don't think it's going to take me a year. I think I finished these quicker than a year, but we'll see. All right. The, not the, wait, I am so off. That was the eighth product. <laughs> This is the ninth. I am off my game. I have the Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Metallic Rose. I can't get this to like settle. 
It wants to cling to the sides. So I have no idea where I am. I've used this a handful of times. These lines here were from a previous project. So I don't know if I was guesstimating because it was so long ago or if back then it was settling, I don't know. And I really don't want to put it in, you know, hot water because I feel like that would mess with the formula and it's already an old product. So I'm just, you know, we'll just use it the way it is. I mean, I feel like you can see the windows in this product. There's definitely usage here. Working through it, my goal is to finish it. Now this one, there's good progress on. This is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation and I'm using the shade, oh, it's on the front, 150 Buff. And I think I have this in another shade as well, I wanna say. And you can see my progress lines here. So I made pretty good progress on this. You know, that top line is where I think I was because that's where it was in a previous project. I don't think I'd use this since I had marked it. I don't think I had used this since the last time I had marked it when it was in a project. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it was a little further down, but I mean, I have used this quite a bit. I just don't know that I used it that much so it could be inaccurate my goal is to finish this because i've had it in my collection for so long so hopefully we can get this done i don't think i'm gonna have a problem finishing that i really do like that foundation okay those are all my past items now let's get to my present item and what i decided to pull in for this is the giorgio armani power fabric concealer that's so hard to read in the shade three and i think think this is where I am I could be wrong because you know with concealers it's so hard to tell I kind of did the wipey thing where you wipe the sides and it looked like that may have been a spot that it may have stopped moving up to but I could be wrong I have used this quite a bit though I have been alternating between this and the Jouer concealer that I've got in another project, which is the Essential High Covers Liquid Concealer. I think I've been using the Jouer Concealer more than this one. So this one's taken a little bit of a back burner only because I feel like the Jouer is a little bit lighter, but I really love this concealer. My goal is to finish it. I feel like my lips are a little bit dry. Oh, let's see how this looks. Mm, I like it very much. I needed some hydration. This product is coming up. Actually, let's talk about this one now. So now we're talking about my future category. This first item is the Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss in the shade Spritz Pop. And it's in this adorable packaging. It's the Marimekko Clinique collaboration. I think it's adorable. I'm actually doing pretty well with this. You can see my progress line there and you can see there's a little bit of a window there. This is a little bit, and I love this color. Let me give you guys a swatch. I love this color. Love, love, love. It's a little bit milky on its own. So I have to be a little careful whenever I wear it by itself that I don't apply too much. Yep, there we go because it starts to get that milky look. So I like it layered like I did today. And I think that looks a little bit better, but I do like it on its own. I just have to be careful with it. So, and the thing is I have another one of those cause I fell in love with the color. So the second product in the future category is the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face to base. And I have this little mini size of this product actually let me t well here's bobby brown's name and then it's a vitamin enriched what vitamin enriched face base anyway so i have been using this and you can see um my progress there i don't use this every single day i probably use this i would say three times a week when i kind of whenever i remember to pull it out and use it but i do really like this product and i will continue to use it i feel like if i can remember to incorporate it into my makeup look every single time i put on makeup it'll be a great way to help 
keep my skin moisturized underneath my makeup. So hopefully I can remember to do that. Number three in this category is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the scent Peach. And you can see on this side my uh, progress line. I have been using this very sparingly. This is sitting by my couch. And so sometimes whenever I just need a quick little lip gloss, I'll throw this on. I try to go more for the colored lip gloss products before I'll throw this on, but sometimes you just want a balm, you know? So I'll put this on. I do really like this though a lot. I think whenever I finish up a couple of other lip balms that I'm working on, like the one that's in my bathroom, this will go there because I do like this a lot. The next product we have is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Ariel, and I'm just looking to see how I did. I made a little bit of progress on this. So this is part of the Disney collection. So you can see it's really cute. It's got all the princesses names around the packaging. This is what this uh, shade looks like. It's super pretty. You know, when I originally looked at this, I thought it was gonna be super orange on me and even swatching it on my skin, it kind of looks like it's gonna be super orange on me, but it doesn't look that orange on my lips. I really do like it on my lips. And it's probably because of the actual color of my lips, it works really well with. So I really do like this shade. I find ColourPop lipsticks don't move. They don't move. I don't know what it is. Like I use them and use them and use them. And then it's like, why is this progress so minuscule? <laughs> so we'll see how long it takes me to meet my goal. My goal is to use a quarter of it. So we'll see how long that takes. The next item is one of my favorite lip colors. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Taurus. It's got this cute little Taurus uh, astrological sign on the front. Oh, I love this color so much. Love, love, love. And I didn't really use it very much. And I think I was focusing so much on other lipsticks that I was like, oh, I know I can use that. I'll just, you know, put it aside. So I didn't really use it. Uh, there's the tiniest of progress on this. I think I may have worn it just one time. Yeah, I mean, I literally had to have only worn it one time, but it's such a gorgeous color. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem finishing this eventually this year, at least I hope not. Cause now that I'm looking at it, there's a lot of lipstick in here. That's a lot of lipstick. We'll see. The next item is the M Cosmetics True Gloss in the shade Ash Rose. And it's this beautiful, beautiful packaging. Um, just like, mm, I love it. And this color is gorgeous too. I did mark on here what my goal is and it's to use half. I am a little concerned that I'm not gonna hit that goal. It's gonna be a while before I can hit that goal. That is what that shade looks like right there. I need to do better at swatching. Like this janky arm thing. Why am I making it so hard on myself? Why? It's beautiful. I have used this, but it's not, there's no way to mark on here how far I am. I mean, it's a, first of all, it's frosted glass. It's very difficult to show. And I don't think there's enough usage to mark. Hi, Milo. Oh. So number seven in this category is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 45 in the shade Accru, and that's one and two. I love this. It's beautiful. It's really pretty and it's actually a really great mixer as well. Like I've been mixing this with a couple of different things to either tone them down because it's a really more of a neutral toned foundation compared to a few other things that I've kind of worked on. I'm so glad that I pulled this into this project because it's kind of been languishing in my makeup drawer. Like I haven't really been working on I, I, I'd never tried it before. I had it sitting in my vanity back there and I purchased it months ago and I, I just never tried it. So I'm so glad that I pulled it into this project. 
Yay. My goal is to use half of that. The next item is the Clarins SOS Primer, and this is in the shade 02 Peach. As you can see, I am doing pretty okay. Well, I mean, I'm not doing great. I'm doing okay. I don't, again, I, this is not another one that I'm not using every single day. I actually have another primer that I'm using in conjunction with this. I'm also using the Tatcha Silk Canvas primer. So, and I think I want to use like a third of that because it's a giant one. So I kind of alternate between this and that. So it's, you know, progress is okay. The last item in this section is the Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Suburbia. This is a beautiful pencil. It stays on your lips for, for a long time. I mean, it doesn't really want to move, to be honest. It's so nice. It's so nice. I really do enjoy this lip pencil. And I really did well with this pencil. Like compared to the Jordana, I kind of went to this pencil before I went to the Jordana pencil. And my goal for this is to use a third, is to use a third of this. It's going to take some time. You know, this is a darker berry shade. So perhaps in the summer, I won't use it as often, but I do really like her pencils. I can't remember if she has any lighter colored lip liners. I just remember there being a lot of darker shades whenever I went to swatch them. I don't remember there being light like nudes. I'd have to go back and look and now you can't swatch anything. I freaking hate COVID. Anyway, so I'm feeling pretty good about this project. Like I, there's a lot of lip products in here and I knew whenever I added those to this project, I was like, oh Lord, what am I doing to myself? Like there's a lot of lip products in this project. What did I do? But I also think that there's good prog decent progress on a lot of these. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And I didn't make it to where I was wanted to finish everything because I knew that there was just no way that I could do that. So at least I'm using them to kind of prepare down the road to finish them, if that makes sense. Like there's just, I'm, I'm not setting myself up for failure. Anyway, guys, so I think that is it for today's update. I'm super excited about the progress so far for this project. I think I'm doing pretty well. I feel pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Somebody woke up. Like, like straight to attention. Marley walked in here for a brief moment and then he walked out. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. You're so pretty. He's sleepy. He had a busy day. We had a plumber here and he had to hide under the couch with his best friend Marley. Okay. He's like, leave me alone. But I don't think I necessarily used this from the last time I, I had put it into progress. In the last pro, pro oh my god. Blah, 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 blah. What's happening? Are they both sitting there? Stupid gnat. <sighs> okay. So I think this is product. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to kill you, gnat. Did I get you? <laughs> One, two, three, four, seven. I'm going to kill that gnat.
not the cat, the gnat. It's like he wants to get near him. He wants to get near him so much. Milo. Hi. What you doing? Hi. Come here. Hello. No? Okay. Don't you dare throw up on my bed again. I will kill you. I won't kill him. 